Today we're going to start uh, lab seven, which is analyzing motion. We're going to do. There are two types of motion. One is called as a constant speed motion. If the speed is going, if your the speed is constant, that's called constant speed motion. And this is one of that is the horizontal motion. And this the the instrument we're going to use is the constant speed vehicle. We're going to use this for a horizontal motion. There is a, then we're going to use second the second part of the experiment. We're going to use uh, which is called as a variable motion, where your speed will change. If you're going up the ramp, the speed will decrease. If you're coming down the ramp, the speed will increase. And increase in speed, that motion is called as accelerated motion. So let's do first, we're going to do the horizontal motion. So here how we do this experiment is, we're going to start, this is our starting point, and we're going to measure the different data points. We're going to measure for, uh, for every 50, uh, 0.5, meters, which is 50 centimeters, we're going to measure the distance and the time it takes to cover that distance. And that's your uh, trial of one. Then we're going to do it for, again, we'll start from the starting point and we'll again take another data for one meter, then we're going to do for 1.5 meters, then we're going to do for one, two meters and 2.5 meters. So this is how we're going to record the data. So this, I just want to show you, demonstrate how we start. So we here we're going to use the the front wheel, this is the, the front wheels as a marker. And the, the moment the front wheel crosses the zero, the starting point, we're going to start our stopwatch and then when it finishes the 0.5 meters, we're going to start the stopwatch. So that's how we're going to record the time difference, the time it took to cover the distance of 0.5 meters. Then we're going to do the second time. Again, we're going to start from again. We're going to start again from the starting point and we're going to measure the stopwatch and we're going to stop once it crosses the one meter. And once the moment it stops with the one meter, we're going to stop the stopwatch and we'll record the time. And this is how we're going to collect the data and uh, we'll be giving you the data points. And uh, so what you guys have to do is you have to take those data points and you have to put the graph uh, plotting the time on the x-axis and distance on the y-axis and, and for each each motion we're going to get a graph and uh, that's all <clears throat> then you have to submit those data thank you okay so this this is the second b part of the experiment here we're going to do the, what is called as a deceleration motion so when you're going up the ramp the speed it decreases so we're going to do for two elevations. One is at 20, other one is 40 elevation. So what we're going to do in this is the same thing. We're going to use the constant speed vehicle. And we let this vehicle go up or up the ramp. We have different distances. The first distance is from this starting point to here is 25 centimeters. We're going to measure it's 50 centimeters. We're going to measure 75 centimeters, 100 centimeters, and 1.25 centimeters. So there is an increment of 25 centimeters at each time. So here how we do is we let this cart roll on this ramp and we will use the rail wheel as the marker and the rail wheel passes this 25 centimeters point and we will stop my stopwatch and record my time. And I think that's for the first distance. For the second distance we again I'm going to start from the starting point and then when this when the the cart reaches the 50 centimeters Mark, I'm going to stop my stopwatch and record the time. So this is what I'm going to be demonstrating. And now I'm going to stop it. And then once it crosses 25 centimeters, I'm going to stop and record the time. Then again for 50 centimeters, I'm going to the same thing. And then once it goes to this 50 centimeters, then I'm going to record the time. Then I'm going to do it for the third one. For 75. You see how the, the speed is decreasing. So as the ramp, uh, as the ramp is going up, as the cord is going up, the speed is decreased. That's called deceleration. Okay. So this is the part C of the of our experiment. Here we're going to roll the, the metal ball down the ramp. We have a track, and it's going to. So as it's coming down the ramp, this is supported by the ramp. So the gravity is pulling it down. So as the as the ball is coming down, the speed is increasing. So that's so it's an accelerated motion. So what, how we start? So before we start, we should make sure that these two 
uh, lights here should be green. And these are the two uh, term, uh, term timers. We're going to timer A to timer B. It records the distance. It covers the time. It records the time when the roll when the ball rolls between these two points. So we're going to, so we are going to start the first one. So so here when the ball passes through the first terminal, it shows the red. Then again, when it passes the second terminal, it again shows the red. So that's how we know that the, the ball is passing through those sensors. So we're going to measure the time now. That's for the first one. So if you say it took points six, when, I, when I round up, it took 0.68 seconds to cross the distance from, the first distance is 25 centimeters. So I'm going to, so I'm going to repeat for the 50 now. So when, when I make, when I'm repeating for the 50, make sure that you reset this so that this is again goes back to zero. And again, I'm going to roll for the 50. And I got, oh, sorry, that's for the 50. So I start early. So I'm going to start reset again. And that's how it goes to the 50. So it took the time, it took 0.63 seconds for 50. And I'm going to do one more for 100. For, uh, for 75 centimeters, so I make sure I reset it again, and I roll the ball again for 75. It's 0.69 centimeters uh, for se seconds. 